Chapter 19 is called Light, Light Everywhere. Imagine, if you will, having spent the whole of your life in a dungeon. Imagine that late one spring day you step out of the dark and into a world of bright windows and polished floors, winking copper pots, shining suits of armor, and tapestries sewn in gold. Imagine. And while you are imagining things, imagine this, too. Imagine at the same time the rat steps from the dungeon and into the castle. A mouse is being born upstairs, a mouse reader who is destined to meet the light bedazzled rat. But that meeting will occur later, much later, and for now the rat is nothing but happy, delighted, amazed to find himself standing in so much light. I, said Roscuro, spinning dizzily from one bright thing to the next, I will never leave. No, never. I will never go back to the dungeon. Why would I? I will never torture another prisoner. It's here that I belong. The rat waltzed happily from room to room until he found himself at the door to the banquet hall. He looked inside and saw gathered there King Philip, Queen Rosemary, the Princess P, twenty noble people, a juggler, four minstrels, and all the king's men. This party reader was a sight for a rat's eyes. Roscuro had never seen happy people. He had known only the miserable ones. Gregory the jailer and those who were consigned to his domain did not laugh or smile or clink glasses with the person sitting next to them. Roscuro was enchanted. Everything glittered. Everything, the gold spoons on the table and the jingle bells on the juggler's cap, the strings on the minstrel's guitars and the crowns on the king's and queen's heads. And the little princess, how lovely she was, how much like light itself. Her gown was covered in sequins that winkled and glimmered at the rat. And when she laughed, and she laughed often, everything around her seemed to glow brighter. Oh, really, said Roscuro, this is too extraordinary. This is too wonderful. I must tell Botticelli that he was wrong. Suffering is not the answer. Light is the answer. And he made his way into the banquet hall. He lifted his tail off the ground and held it at an angle and marched in time to the music the minstrels were playing on their guitar. The rat readers invited himself to the party. And that's the end of the chapter. So, was Roscuro having a good time upstairs? Yeah, what about upstairs did he like? The light. Yeah, it's, it's said that he wanted to tell Botticelli that suffering wasn't the answer, light is the answer. How do you think the people are gonna react when they see a rat is joining the party? Probably. Yeah, they probably might not be very happy to see a rat joining their party. I don't know, though. Let's keep going and find out.